recovery methods are not the answer. So I always get questions, what's the best? What's the best, is it foam roll? Is it massage gun? Is it blah, blah? I'm going with blah, blah, because I don't really care because you cannot out recover poor training and that's what we're all trying to do. We're all starting at a level that's way too high for us and we get really sore the next day. That's mistake number one because none of these things really work. They're all just kind of temporary relief. And then you're going out and you're killing yourself again. You're slightly overtraining and then you're searching the internet to find the best recovery methods. That's not how it works. How about we just train at the right level so that we're not overly sore in the first place? So I can go out and train 24 hours later. I wanna feel like I trained. I can kind of feel it, but I'm not overly sore. I feel like I can go do it again. And then I just gradually ramp up by let's say two to 5% of volume each week. And we can attain an insane level of fitness and performance without ever being extremely sore. And then you wouldn't be asking me what the best recovery is because you wouldn't feel like you need it because your body just feels healthy. Now I'm cool with this stuff and we do implement some recovery stuff here and there for guys who are doing multiple workouts on the court or you're in season and you're desperate to bounce back for your next game faster. But in off season, especially in off season training, if you feel beat down, you did too much. Your body can adapt to just about any stimulus as long as it's a stimulus within reason. And so when I work out just slightly out of my comfort zone, that's a stimulus that my body can actually adapt to. And that's a stimulus that's not gonna leave me overly sore the next day. The problem with being overly sore isn't really the muscles, because the muscles can recoup. Let's say I get crazy sore, maybe it's gonna be five days, sometimes even a week, but your muscles usually bounce back. Now we are at an increased risk of muscle strains if I'm crazy sore and then I'm also getting out on the court or getting out on the field. But what I worry about the most is tendon injuries because if I beat myself up that bad to where I'm sore for seven days, well, I probably also put a lot of strain on my tendons. And tendons don't bounce back as easy as muscles. Tendons take a lot longer to adapt and so sometimes we're creating tendinopathies, creating overuse injuries by just giving yourself such a high stimulus that your body is not ready to adapt to. Your tendons are not ready for that. You don't have the capacity in that tendon to adapt. And so what does it do? Well, it starts to break down. And then over time, we got these Achilles problems and patellar tendinopathy. Go do a workout that barely gets you out of your comfort zone. And then the next time, do it a little bit more. And then the next time, a little bit more. And when you gradually ramp up, we avoid all of these overuse injuries. Go build.